feast day for the entire church and for Jerusalem in a special way. On the other hand, Marie Alphonsine, whose liturgical memory was celebrated on Sunday, November 19th, is the daughter of this land. Numerous devotees of the Palestinian saint who was canonized in 2015 by Pope Francis participated in a mass that took place in the Church of the Holy Rosary in the Holy City, and that was preceded by the Apostolic Administrator of the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem, Monsignor Pier Battista Pizzaballa. Among them was Father Nerwan, who ten years ago was born a second time thanks to her intercession. Mentre stavo andando in Iraq, passando un cinque point, e poi eh, tra le mafie che ho trovate lì, I was heading toward Iraq when at a checkpoint I was attacked by criminals who were about to cut my head. I was carrying a relic of St. Alphonsine. I prayed an Our Father and a Hail Mary and I spontaneously asked, Marie Alphonsine, I do not know you, but if the Lord will allow me to live, spare me. Otherwise I will accept the will of God. And I was spared. Se il Signore mi ha dato qui ancora la vita, salvami. Se no, io accetto la volontà di Dio. E poi mi sono stato salvato. In the homily, the patriarchal vicar for Jerusalem and Palestine, Monsignor Giacinto Marcuzzo, spoke of humility and silence, virtues of Marie Alphonsine to whom the Virgin Mary appeared. The bishop drew attention to the coincidence of the celebration of the St. Alphonsine Feast Day with the World Day of the Poor, instituted this year by Pope Francis. This is a good coincidence, the Day of the Poor with the example of our Palestinian saint who served the poor. St. Marie Alphonsine left an important legacy, especially to Arabs, and not just Christians who live in this land. Her charisma is always present in schools and hospitals through the propagation of the Holy Rosary in several Middle Eastern countries. She left an important legacy. First, the love for this land. Marie Alphonsine chose to establish an Arabic-speaking institute for nuns, since Arabs had only a foreign clergy at that time. She was inspired by the love for this land and for this culture, and by the love for the Virgin Mary. You cannot love Jesus without simultaneously loving his mother. The prayer of the rosary, the simple prayer, which is everyone's commitment, was her way, then and still today, to evangelize people. Per quei tempi, ma ancora oggi, per evangelizzare la nostra gente.